。大家好，你可以叫我 Chrissy 还是蔡奎西都可以。可是我的中文是不太好，所以 I will switch to English now. <laughs> But、uh, I am here to present a course to you, so I'm just going to get my little PowerPoint up and running. So. This should be seems to be loading. So I'll be presenting to you the sort of initial course that can lead you down the innovation and new media content strategies track. So if you're interested in tech, if you're interested in kind of the backbone of new media, or maybe something like business analytics, this is going to be something you will probably be interested in. So the goals of the course, I'll give a little description first. So in the course, the students will gain practical experience with new media. This is something that, as a student in this class, you'll get to try out recording a YouTube video or making a podcast or doing something along those lines to actually use the new media in a more professional way than maybe you'd be used to. After learning about the current state of research on communication using several new media outlets, including social networking, so we've got Facebook and Twitter as examples. IG would also be another one.、Uh, digital journalism, digital games, although to a lesser extent, and streaming or video platforms. Students will learn about writing and communication on and for these different platforms. So this course is extremely practical in nature, and I think that's suitable for a master's program. If you think about it, in high school, you learn information, you gather information, and then in your bachelor's degree. You learn how to think about that information, right? You learn about critical thinking and how to process the information and learn what's good information and what's not high quality information. On、well, the master's program, you are going to go into industry after this, so we're learning how to apply that information. So that's one of the really big goals of the course, and I will. Pull up. So students, once you finish the course, students should be able to broadly discuss the current state of new media research in the fields of communication and technology. So this is quite broad. We're going to give you an overview, as was mentioned in the video. Many of you will be coming from very different disciplines in our class this semester. I think we have someone from early childhood education. We have someone from computer science,、uh, and we have a bunch of people from the broadcasting industry. So. There's a whole bunch of different things, so we'll make sure that everyone's kind of on the same playing field, and to be able to talk about the kind of research that you would use in a new media context. Students should also be able to make use, a practical use, of new media technologies to communicate a given message. So we're going to learn how to use new media. So how to use YouTube to sell a product, to communicate an idea.、Um, same with. Instagram, same with Facebook, same with a lot of these different technologies and different social medias that you use. And finally, students should be able to write in English in several styles, including academic, journalistic, and business. Now, this is the point where usually people get scared away, but I want to reassure you that this goal is very much built on building your confidence in your English ability in terms of writing.、Um, I myself did my math, or not my master's degree, my bachelor's degree in my second language. I did my my degree in French, and I remember how nervous I was whenever I had to write anything in French because it's not my language. I'm not comfortable. But when you learn how to be comfortable, when you get that kind of expert feedback from people who write in that language all the time. Now I can write an email in French without freaking out, you know. So that's more what this goal is about. So when you leave the program and you go into industry, or you continue on to the PhD if that's what you're into,、um, you can feel comfortable writing in whatever kind of English they need you to write in. So this course is also pretty unique in the sense that we have quite a large instructional team. There's actually three of us. So my face is the one you'd see the most in the class, but we also have、um, Dean Hu and Dr. Guo.、Uh, so Dean Hu is an expert in very much blockchain and、uh, fintech, so financial technology. He is a computer scientist with many years of experience. So he is also the leader of the informatics、uh, college. So. He gives a very different perspective on the same information than, for example, myself or Dr. Guo.、Uh, Dr. Guo is also from the computer science background in the College of Informatics, but she comes at things from a much more 
uh, digital journalism perspective. So she talks about media content and how we store that online and how we access that online. And she really blends the communication and the very hard tech side of things. And then finally, you have me. Um, my focus is on online communication. So sometimes that's in a business context, sometimes that's in a leisure context, but I focus more on how people use technology. So when taking the class, you actually get to hear a lot of different perspectives or you have access to a lot of different perspectives on the same kind of information. And given the fact that this is an interdisciplinary program, you have a lot of different colleges involved, a lot of you, and when you finish the program, will end up in industries where you're going to need to talk to a lot of different people. You're going to need to talk to computer scientists, but you're also going to need to talk to business analysts kind of thing. So having this broad perspective, I think, is really uh, helpful when learning how to talk about tech in, uh, in a new media context. So some of the things that you can look forward to in this course, uh, we have guest speakers from a variety of new media industries. So I said you're going to be seeing my face the most but we have a lot of people coming in from all over the place. So we have at least one guest speaker who's confirmed from live streaming and professional gaming. This is Chronicler. He is an esports caster in Seoul uh, for the LCK. For those who are League of Legends fans, you may recognize him. Uh, so he'll be talking about the broadcasting and live streaming industry in Korea and also in Europe. Uh, we have a professional podcaster slash voice. Um, Nana Chao, who will be talking to you about how podcasts work, how things like sponsorships work in that new media context, and giving a little demonstration about how she would go about making a podcast or doing some voice acting. We have, uh, we will have a speaker on data journalism, the exact person hasn't been confirmed yet. Uh, but we will be talking to people who are in the world of journalism. So if you're interested in news and broadcasting and print, or online news. These are all things that you'll get to talk about and learn about how AI and machine learning can affect things like journalism. You'll also get to take a field trip to the head offices of Meta's Taiwanese branch in Sydney District. So Meta is the new uh, Facebook. Uh, the company changed its name recently. So we'll actually get to hear from people who work in social media every single day and hear what it's like to work at Meta and what their vision of the future of social media is. So you can get a cutting edge perspective on that. As I mentioned earlier, you'll have the opportunity to build confidence in your English writing and receive detailed feedback in different styles. Uh, this is something that isn't always available in, in every university in, in this region. Uh, so I would really encourage if, if writing in English is something that you're a little nervous about and you want to feel better about, this is a great opportunity to have a native speaker tell you the concrete ways that you can improve and you can make your writing feel a lot smoother. And finally, the chance to try out content creation. Maybe, maybe you're going to graduate and become the next YouTube star. Who knows? These are, these are all things that are possible with this program. So uh, you get a chance to build content creation abilities as well. So who should take this course? First off, students who are interested in pursuing any career that could involve technology. And I think nowadays that's pretty much any career. <laughs> Almost anything that you do will involve technology in some way. And if you're interested in the technology aspect of new media and innovation technology, this is a great place to start, especially if you don't come from a tech background naturally. This will be a good even starting point for you. So if you're interested in things like content production, either being on the back end of that, being more of a producer type person or a video editor type person, or someone who is the on-air talent, who is the YouTuber or the TikToker or the Instagram model, whatever the case may be. Uh, entertainment or broadcasting, so this would be live streaming or it would be news, or if you're interested in more of the business end of things, so business analytics and management, we do have a fair amount of theory in this class that covers the kind of things that you need to know about things like algorithms, and how to best promote yourself using the technology or promote your business using the technology that is available to you. This class would also be suitable for them. Um, students who look at the course in the technology track and think, ah, oh, these look pretty cool. Um, this is basically when you look at the full list of courses and if you see things like 
uh, social media marketing and that sounds interesting to you or uh, big data for social analysis and you think, oh, these, these look really interesting. This course is a really good gateway into those courses. We give you a brief teaser of almost everything that is covered later in more in depth in the courses. So if you're looking at the other courses in the tech track and the innovation technology and new media content strategies and you think these look kind of cool, this is a good place to start to see which ones you might be interested in taking later. And then finally, students who aren't quite sure of what kind of industry they may want to enter after graduation. Uh, like I said, this course is quite broad. We cover a lot of ground, but it is very foundational. It's things that you're going to use in a variety of different industries. So if you think, well, I like tech and I like the idea of new media, but I don't know if I want to go into broadcasting. I don't know if I want to go into content creation. I'm kind of on the fence. This is a great way to explore a bunch of different options that you could have. So that is it for me. I would be happy to take any questions and I can also pass on questions to Dr. Guo and Dean Hu if you have questions more about uh, their specialties.